Hello, this short video is going to show you how to conduct a web tour using Blackboard Collaborate. This is another popular tool that you might find to use uh, as a moderator or as an instructor in a class, uh, especially when you want to take all your participants on a tour of the web in some particular way. So in order to get started with a web tour, first you go up to the View menu and you select Web Tour and then you enter a URL into the website or into the, the field, uh, the website you'd like to go to. Let's say uh, for the sake of argument we're going to do some Google searching so we're going to start out at google.com. Uh, so I enter a, a URL in here and I make sure that this checkbox called follow me is checked. That means everyone who's part of the web conference will actually follow me to this website. And you'll see that there brow a browser opens up here within uh, Blackboard Collaborate itself. So it does not need an external web browser. Uh, it uses the Blackboard Collaborate web browser. Okay, so this is a way to get started with a basic web tour. Now, if I want to go for on a Google search, um, uh, so let's just uh, do a little search on Run to Daylight. If I do a search here, everyone who's part of the web conference will also uh, go to that website as well within their browser. I'm going to click over to the student view and you can see here's the student view. It's no longer seen, it's not sharing the web browser, it's actually running its own little web browser within uh, that version of Blackboard Collaborate. And so if I run these kind of in parallel you'll see that there's a little bit of a lag um, but it will follow me. So if I click on, uh, here's a link for Vince Lombardi Run to Daylight. You'll see on the left it transfers and then on the right it transfers and so these are all running native. Now if I'm a, a, a student in this class I can click within this web page and I can visit different links within the web browser. Okay, So I don't necessarily have to just stay with where the, the faculty is taking me. Uh, I can click away as long as I stay within this web browser I can go wherever I want. Now if I'm a faculty member and I want to bring everybody to the next one, let's say we're going to visit Amazon.com I just have to click that once and it will take everybody back to that, that web. So it's like a tour. You go to a room inside of a museum and people go around to different different paintings or whatever whatever's there and then you say okay everybody come over to this, this room now and we all go there together and then once again within that room if there are, if there are links in that website they may uh, choose to uh, go browse them uh, on their own. Okay, there's other ways you can, other things you can do with this. Uh, for example, let's say you're on a website and you want to explore a little bit on your own without having them follow you. You just deselect the checkbox and then you can go and um, you can watch the web browser on the left. This is the, the facilitator's web browser. I'm going to go to different places uh, and you'll see I'm not drawing everybody with me. Now if I discover what I'm looking for and now I want everybody to follow along with me again, I just click follow me and that will bring everybody onto the onto uh, the page that I'm interested in them seeing. Another way you can work a web tour is you can actually run this in an outside browser. And so if you want to do this, you would, uh, in this little drop down menu here, you'd say open URL in a browser. And then what it will do, it will ask you, okay, what's the uh, URL? Uh, let's just call, let's go to happy.com. Click OK. And it will take me to happy.com in my default browser. It will also, take each one of the uh, participants to this website in their own default browser. Now in my situation, you see it opened up twice because I'm running the student and the moderator on the same computer. And so it opened up the moderator um, website in my default browser. I have the same default browser as a student and so it opened up another page for that. So that's another way that you can work a web tour. Uh, you can use a default browser. You might want to use a default browser if if you want to visit some website with a special functionality that you know doesn't run well in the Blackboard Collaborate browser. Personally I've never experienced a website that doesn't work well within Blackboard Collaborate but it is a possibility. So that's the essential elements of uh, running a web tour. Web tours can be very very um, uh, popular. You can also allow students to uh, run web tours if you make them a moderator.